I will show you a couple of ways on how to delete files in case that you get an argument list too long error. So I have prepared a couple of folders here. Each folder has more than 100,000 entries. So if I CD to one of the folders and if I run rm star, I would get the argument list too long. So one of the ways to fix that is to just delete the whole folder itself. Let me CD out of the folder and then run rm r followed by the photo name and hit enter. You can see that the folder is gone. That's because I'm supplying just one argument in this case, which is basically the folder name. Whereas if I do rm star, this means that I'm supplying a huge argument list of more than 100,000 files. Another way to do this would be to use the find command. This is my personal favorite as you can add many different arguments. So let me see to the second folder. I'll show you that again, I have about 100,000 files. And if I try to run the rm star command, I'm getting the argument list too long. So the first thing I would like to do is check the file names and find a pattern that I could use. I'll just run an ls command here and list just the first 10 entries. In my case, what I have is a lot of files starting with the same name. So just temp underscore file. So let's go ahead and build our command. I can use this as a pattern in my command. The first thing that you would like to type is just the name of the command. So in our case, it's find followed by the directory that you would like to execute the command in. Then I will type the max depth. I will set this to one. This means that the find command would run just in the current directory and would not affect any subdirectories. Then I would specify the type of the files that I would like to find. F stands for regular file. This is a good security measure because we would not delete any special files like symbolic links, for example. Then I would specify the name argument. Here I would put temp file and a star. This means that we would match all of the files in this folder that start with this phrase. Finally, I would specify the delete argument. This basically means that we are telling the find command to delete any files that match the patterns that we've supplied. And if I go ahead and run that, you can see that in there a couple of seconds, all the files are gone. And I will show you one more way on how to do that. So let me see to the last folder. Again, I would show you that I have about 100,000 files here. And if I run the rm star, I'm again getting the same error. I have the same files as in the previous folder, but this time I would use a for loop to do that. So I would just write a standard for loop. I would do a for followed by a variable, and I would like to run that for all matching files in this folder. Then I'll do an RM for every single entry that we find. Then I'll close the for loop. If I go ahead and run that, this might take a lot of time. In my case, it took more than two minutes to complete, so I would recommend just sticking to the find command instead of the for loop, as it's much quicker and efficient.